I think it might be useful for us to uh, get some advice from you. Yeah. All right. Because you've accomplished <laughs> for for the the journey of a martial artist. First, if you've accomplished some of the greatest accolades mm -hmm. there is in the sport, if somebody who's starting out now or like early on in their journey, mm -hmm. what advice would you give on how to become a martial artist, a catch wrestler, mm -hmm. a fighter? Uh, well, I mean, really, what it comes down to is do it because you love it. Do it for that reason and that reason alone. Uh, most people that get into this and attempt to make any sort of professional inroads with it, you are not going to be the world champion. Uh, you probably will never even fight for a belt. And you're probably not going to net make money at this. So don't do it for those reasons. Do it for the reason of the passion. Do it for the reason to be the absolute best that you can be, whatever that ends up being. You might at best only be mediocre, but you won't even be mediocre if you don't do it like you really mean it. So the passion look, <clears throat> where, where's the kernel of the passion, would you say? Is it in the learning process itself, the improvement? I think is, it really is, depends on the person, right? I mean, there's some people that really love the, the, the fact of, they feel like they're growing, right? So will to power, you know, you're growing, growing stronger, growing better. Um, you know, uh, the idea of, of eliminating weakness. So, uh, to which, uh, I'll quickly define weakness as, as, as like things that weaken you, not like being physically weak. Sure. You could call that weakness, but maybe you're not meant to be a super strong guy, but choosing to be weak is, is really a, a different story other than just like, we're all, uh, deficient in some way or another. So, that's neither here nor there. It's a matter of what you decide to do with it. And that's the difference between strength and weakness, at least the way I look at it. Like strength is choosing regardless of the difficulty to make improvements to strength is even choosing to acknowledge that you, you do lack and accept it and then make a decision of what to do with it. Um, yeah, but there's also, there's a bunch of stuff that just like you said, it's what you're drawn to. There's an honesty to just grappling that it seems more real than anything else you can do. Sure, and well, that, and, and, and also, that's the that's where the passion and love can yeah, come. Yeah, from. I mean, it's being in an environment, hopefully, that is as true as possible. Uh, it would be would be a a starter. So, it's hard to be a, a bullshit person when you're literally trying to tear each other's arms off. Yeah, you know, I, it's, you really sort of see who somebody is. Uh, I also feel like you really really get to see somebody who. There are a couple instances where you really see who people are. Uh, on the mats and in the bedroom. So, <laughs> uh, even the aspect of self betterment, uh, growth along a path. I mean, hell that's part of the, the, de the, the device of capture for martial arts as a business, give you a belt, yeah. put a stripe on your belt. Each, yeah. each, each of these iterations cost 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. So, you but know, the, there's the, a benefit to that too. I, I I really enjoyed the progression of belts. Sure, it, um, you know, a, a bit of it is OCD or whatever. But you're enjoying the recognition of your your growth when you feel when you're made to feel when I think genuinely you do earn it. Yeah, I and agree. That process, I agree. And I, and I, I it makes complete sense to me. It just it's anything that is is has a a goodness in its purity can also have a detriment in its perversion. So uh, <laughs> and, 